Why are you cussing at me? Are you cussing at me? Well, you are very disrespectful. And you are very disrespectful. And you are very disrespectful. You are very disrespectful. You are very disrespectful. Why are we even here? Why are we even here? Because you want a ring and you think she's going to be able to get the ring back? Yes! You think she's going to be able to get the ring back? Oh, my God. No. You need to calm down no, or you're going to get the f*** out of ha, here. Ha, make okay? me. You hired make us for a mediation and that's what we're trying to do. So if you amp it down, that's up. what we were trying yeah, to do. How can, how can we do it if you are being so aggressive? We, I basically, said, I said hurry up and you guys aren't hurrying But this is not going to be done on your terms up. though. Say, oh, I love her, I love her, I love her. But Look how she's mind, acting. Keep in mind, I'm f***ing all kinds of people and coming home and you still want to love me? You still want to be with me? Because I know you're just heartbroken right now. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, okay. you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken okay, because you have to do everything that. on your tell own. Tell your best friend that, sweetie. Tell your best friend that. Because he's f***ing every night. Oh, so I can see that you still... Look like you... Your muscles are still there. Well, I don't need to see you do push-ups, you know, so I'm... Okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So that's all your exercise that you can do right now? Oh, yeah, because I can, can find the ground. ground. That's, oh, okay. that's about it. it so okay. you don't go to the gym, you don't, uh, oh, you know, do God. any type of... Uh, Man, I can't even leave my house. My girl got to show me how to get to the bathroom. Ooh. I'm, you can talk directly to them. They're going to see this. So in your own words... Yeah, if you're working hard for y'all. Okay. And you know that the helmet... The, they ain't never worked right. I told my manager about five, six times it wasn't known right. And I went to go really try to get in and it just slipped right off. And then I went to go really try to get in and it just slipped right off. And that whole bright light. I, oh, I fell back like this, man. I didn't know what happened. I felt oh. like all on the road to Damascus. But man. just for um, so your your boss can hear and their attorneys, you are not 100 percent blind, correct? I can see like right here. OK, just so I can get that. On 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 tape. Yeah. Okay. So you can see very close, but yeah. obviously, it's, yeah, like yeah. Okay. I gotta understand. It's worse with, but I can't see nobody because everybody. We are. I'm gonna come over there. Able to appreciate, you know, the images that uh, maybe. Okay, so I'm gonna. With the help. We'll do this. I'm right here. Okay. And here, put your control 10 X code 20. The YouTube account is called Patty Mayo, and it has 4.7 million subscribers. The show follows around the DBSO as they catch criminals. The people you see are all paid actors, but it's meant to look like reality television. Under each video, the description does say it's not intended for training, education, or other purposes. But with the sheriff's vest and badge, won't people think they're real law enforcement? Someone will say, oh, hey, thanks for your service. And we say, oh, no, 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 we're here for production. We're not sheriff's officers. The intent is to create a production. It's not to commit a crime. And so that's why before we even purchased the cars for the show or any equipment, we sat down with the police department. We said, this is what we'd like to do. What do you think? What's up, kings and queens? We are back at it. Bounty Hunter D. Patty Mayo Beef still going on. I thought by now they would actually make peace. But we got to keep it going. Video number three. All right, guys. So first off, I want to thank to all of our new subscribers. We are at 116. Oh, man, that is huge. I, I, I am so thankful. You guys have no idea. To our one supporter who donated to the GoFundMe account to deliver toys to, to the children at the Children's Hospital was really amazing. So thank you so much for your donation. Believe it or not, that donation... It wasn't a lot, but it went a long way. The kids were very happy from what I was told. And we're also going to be doing it again in a few days. So if you would like to donate to the GoFundMe account in the link below, it will be going to Toys for the Kids at the Children's Hospital here in Las Vegas. And it also goes, if we get an more than enough donations, we will be ordering more Bad Habits Kingdom t-shirts. Uh, I give those out for free, but... They are kind of pricey, so it definitely helps. So if you would like a free Bad Habits Kingdom t-shirt, definitely let me know. You can e email me in the link below. It's badhabitsking at gmail.com, and you get a free Bad Habits Kingdom t-shirt. But if you would like to help donate to get more t-shirts, definitely do that as well. But first, we're getting the toys for the children at the Children's Hospital. All right, guys. So the last two videos I did about the Bounty Hunter D. Patty Mayo be a couple things have been going on. A lot of people saying that the beef is fake, that both shows are fake, and both shows are real. 
a lot of things. But most of all, they're saying that the beef is fake, which I don't agree with. I do believe that this beef is actually very real. Um, you know, Patty Mayo did seem pretty upset, and so did Bounty Hunter D. So I don't think the beef is fake. I really don't. But you never know. You guys could be right. And it could be just for publicity, even though they got millions of sus subscribers and supporters as it is. God, they got millions of subscribers. That must be awesome. But I do love my 1600. I love it. I love you, my babies. I love you. Big hugs, little kisses. So today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually watching some of Bounty Hunter D's videos because I said in the first video that we did that Bounty Hunter D show is real. Now, of course, there are some episodes that I'm like, nah, this ain't real. This ain't real. But the reason why I think it's real, because if you watch the second video I did, the Patty, Patty Mayo Bounty Hunter D beef, what I did was switch it up. The first video we did, it was Bounty Hunter D Patty Mayo beef. The second video we did, it was Patty Mayo Bounty Hunter D beef. I just switched the names up just so you guys would know it's a different video. But I was basically saying how Bounty Hunter D show is real. And the reason why I said that is because... He went on TV and was saying how he really does do those stuff. He's a bounty hunter. He catches cheaters. Um, he does the repos, the whole nine. So I do believe that he did record some of his stuff. Now, do I think some of his videos is scripted and are fake? Yes, but most, you know, most of his videos I think are pretty real. Some of the fraud stuff that we will be watching tonight, it's just like, mm, I don't know, that looks a little odd to me. So we're going to be checking out. Now, Patty Mayo has already said his show is fake. It's fake. It's for entertainment. I want people, when they come home after a long day's work, they have a Patty Mayo night and watch his show. It's all for entertainment, which is good. And that's the other thing in the first video. I had a lot of heat because I wasn't trying to take Bounty Hunter D sides. I'm not trying to take any sides in this, even though I'm a huge fan of Bounty Hunter D and I don't really, you know, get too much into Patty Mayo. And I'm not dissing him or being biased or whatever you want to say. I just say I'm a bigger fan of Bounty Hunter D because he's who I always watch and love. And not just Bounty Hunter D, but his wife, Jami, as well on, on uh, Rin, Real Reality Strikes or When Reality Strikes. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of her as well. You know, they have a great YouTube channels and content. You know, they're very, very great and very inspiring. And I'm not hating on Patty Mayo. I'm not bad, you know, disrespecting him. I think he is a great entertainer. I think what he did was genius. He made up his own show. And, you know, one day it could be on TV. I know that's his goal. So hopefully it works out for him. He has 9 million subscribers, over 9 million. So he definitely got a lot of support behind him. So you never know what could really happen. All right. <clears throat> And first of all, I do want to apologize. We are not in the studio as of right now. So I know the design and stuff in the background ain't all flashy. We actually have it under construction because we're painting and designing it a little bit better. So the studio is under construction and we're actually in the office right now in my little office area. So we're going to be doing that tonight. So I do apologize how the colorful lights look. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go. Let's do it. Okay, so this is actually one of the very first videos I've ever watched of Bounty Hunter D, and this is this lady is just insane. You know, she's really, really hard, hard against her man. She's very dirty against him. Well, her ex, very violent, and she thinks she is just this gorgeous. So, check it out and tell me if you think this is a fake episode or a real episode. Let's see what we got. Yeah, but how, how, how can we do it? You are being so aggressive. We, I said, basically, I said, hurry up. And you guys aren't hurrying. But this is not going to be done on your terms, up. though. This isn't done on your terms. Because it's called a mediation. And you need to go to court to handle
You need to go to that court. Thing. And you have to really figure out what you want to do with yourself, right? You're saying, oh, I love her. I love her. I love her. But Look how she's mind, acting. Keep in mind, I'm fucking all kinds of people and coming home and you still want to love me. You oh, still want to be with me. Because I know there's nothing right worse I'm heartbroken. than no, thinking I'm about your girl no, getting you banged by somebody Tell else. Tell your best friend that, sweetie. Tell your best friend that. Because he's f***ing every night. So you're just, look, she's just saying that to get mad. Tell your best friend that. that. I really don't believe <laughs> it. I really don't no, believe it. No, you know, just, it's for real. Just let him know. Just let him know. It's for real. Yeah, it's real. for real. Huh. You're saying, you're telling me friend. that you're cheating on him. Or not, I shouldn't say cheating on because you guys aren't together. You but in your eyes, you are. Just so you know. Okay, listen, I need to be your voice of reason right now, right? Okay. Okay. Now, this mediation is about him moving out, right? Not him paying you money, but him moving him out. Him moving out. He needs to leave. Okay, so this is how, this is my... My suggestion, our opinion. Okay. So if the reason why I wanted to play this okay. video is it? because okay. you're gonna have to you go to court think this show is, this episode is fake. To leave the property. This lady deserves a damn Oscar because she He's is extremely, extremely convincing to me. I swear, I would, I believe, I believe this episode. I believe it's very real. I mean, if this is fake and she is an actress. Get her on Showtime, honey, because she is killing yeah, it as an actress. Hurry up and I just think leave that my house, is please. very real. And I'm saying, please, like in a very, very nice way. So please leave my house. I'll probably just go to Lisa's because I'm a there anyway. Go to Lisa's. Go to Lisa's. <laughs> Nah, he ain't banging okay. Lisa. He's so, just trying to get her jealous, which ain't gonna happen. And that's the other thing. When girls are done, they are done. They do not care. They'll put up with a lot of crap for a long time. But once they're done with the guy, they're done. There is no more I'm sorry's or I'll change or any of that. They already heard that a hundred times. They already seen that it's not gonna happen. When they're done and they're moved on, it's a wrap. So she can care less what he does because he wanted me why do you have to do lift and all this mediocre sh That's and why. i mean she's banging everybody go, get a sounds job. Like. go live with your mom all right and go be a bum leave my house i don't think he's a bum i think Okay, so that's what made me think that this episode right there was fake. I mean, real. I'm sorry. Because she was extremely convincing. She was very upset. And she could care less what he does, you know, where he lives or anything. And that's what w happens when women are done. Like I was saying earlier, once they're done, they're done. So that episode looked very, very real to me. If that was fake, she deserves a damn Oscar or an Emmy or whatever. She she should be given all that because she was very talented. I'll just say that if she was acting. Now, there is another video we're going to be watching here in a second that is a little odd to me. That I'm like, mm, this seems a little fake. This seems a little, yeah. All right, let's go get it. It just didn't, didn't make sense to me. I was like, yeah, that doesn't look right. So this episode is one of the fraud episodes where they're doing fraud investigation. Now, apparently this guy was not able to see. He somehow got hurt at work. Some bright light happened and he can't see. Now, this video, I do think it's fake. I'm looking at it and I'm like, this just looks fake to me. I mean, the guy does not. If, if this is real, you can tell he wasn't going to win a court case. I mean, because his acting was just horrible. I mean, complete ridiculous. And if this was fake, Bounty Hunter D should have never have put this online. I don't know if he spent too much money in doing it where he had to or what. But if this was a fake episode, he should have never have done it. So let's check it out and see. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna guide you. No, 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 no. I'm gonna guide you here. I'm gonna guide you all the way. And then just go and sit down. I didn't know it was that bad. Yes. Cause that's not that's not like what somebody would use if they're blind. I, ever since, you know, that uh, helmet fell off, I ain't been able to see nothing. Well, we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Yeah. Let me just kinda I'm I'm over here. Like if you can pay attention. Okay. 
I mean, like, come on. Listen to that sound. Hear you that sound. know that somebody's in front of you. You know they're not going to um, be up here. I, like I told you over the phone, uh, you Cedric, know that. I'm D. Um, this is my wife, Jami. How far can you see with your hand? Like, how can you see my hand in front of you right here? What Look about, at okay, way here, over here. He's looking way right over here. here. I can't. I, I see. Oh, I see. Sound. I mean, come okay. on, man. So okay. can, that that right, actor was horrible. Yes, yeah, like about. This is a definitely a fake like episode inches. to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If it's okay. not, just I'm just like, voice, wow. So get you okay. kind of you really thought you were gonna go um, court and win? So. Oh, it's bouncing a little bit. Look at you looking way over here. Um, I appreciate you coming in. Uh, I'm D, and, and my wife Jami is is to your left. No, to your that's left what right I'm saying. Right if this side. really was a fake episode, have, uh, a camera D should have never put this on. He should have never uploaded this. The this guy's your, acting your was just too horrible. I mean, it's too much to give away. It, it makes you really think if the show is real or not. It's not even entertaining because it's like, come on. There is a hundred thousand dollar workman's comp claim against your employer. Um, no, I understand that. I understand that. And and what I'm to, my job is to you know investigate what happened, ask yeah. you questions, and if it makes sense, we just make sure you get that hundred thousand dollars. And that's what it's all about. And that's what it's about. Yeah. I agree. I agree. So, so um, I uh, we see that you've been out of uh, you know. With this I love Jami. I love yes. Jami. Yeah. 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 It's been a while. Dean was very so, smart I, putting a ring on her. Look like you. Your muscles are still there. Well, I don't need to see you push it. No, so okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So that's all your exercise that you can do right now. Oh yeah, because I can find the ground. Gym. That's, that's okay. about it. it so okay. So you don't go to the gym. You don't uh, oh, you know do uh, any type of. Uh, man, I can't even leave my house. My girl got to show me how to get to the bathroom. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty bad, man. Oh, uh, I need to start doing push-ups. Very soon. <laughs> I mean, so if you can keep that type of body for I'm a month or so, I'm just got to do a lot of. Look at, look at way up over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, come on, you know, there's standing sitting right. In front of you. Well, well, Cedric, um, you know, if you could explain to to us, and then I know you can't see a camera, but I would have you address. There is a camera on your right, on my left. If you ever want to look at it, it's your left. If you look on your left, I'm sorry, on your right. My mistake. There, there's a camera on your on your right. If you want to address that camera to your boss at any time you can talk directly to he him look right he's turned in that so angle. in your own words yeah, if you're working it's hard, like a one o'clock turn okay. you know that the him with the right thing, it right. right i told my manager about five six times it wasn't no right Acting and was, was horrible go, man really horrible. trying to get in and it just slipped right off and that whole bright light so oh, if this was a real like this, man, you know what happened. thing like, oh, you would think like wow man i mean i can't you knew damn well you weren't gonna win that court case so and okay. I'm just, you know, I, but I don't oh, want right mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, you know, get my hundred thousand. And then you're good. I'm you're good. Okay. So that's where I was questioning the show itself because I'm like, man, this that was just so horrible of an episode. The performance, the storyline, everything. It just was not good. And I was like, man. It makes you question because I'm a hardcore believer thinking that this show is real. And I really, really hope it is because I would just feel like a complete idiot believing this for so long. <laughs> but I guess I am an idiot. You never know. I actually reached out to Bounty Hunter D to see if, hey, will you let me give you an interview on Bad Habits Kingdom for my 1,600 supporters and subscribers. He has not re uh, responded yet. I highly doubt if he does respond, but I will keep trying, and I will keep reaching out. And just to see if the show was real, this is what I would like Bounty Hunter D to do. I seen on some of his episodes where he actually came out to Vegas to do some investigations when it comes to cheaters. I would like Bounty Hunter D to come out to Vegas to follow my fiance. And then we could see how real Bounty Hunter D is. And not only that, hook her up to a lie detector test. Just to see. I'll, I mean, I'm willing to do it and I'm willing to see whatever I need to do or, or anything he needs me to do. I will try to make it happen just to see if the show was real. Lie detector test and investigation here in Las Vegas. But I would love to interview Bounty Hunter D on Bad Habits Kingdom 
like I said, I tried reaching out and no response yet. But I guess we'll have to see. Now, Patty Mayo. So Patty Mayo did take down the video where he was calling Bounty Hunter D a pussy and all this stuff. That's what makes me think that the video, the beef is really real. Because if it wasn't real, he wouldn't have taken the video down. He would have kept it going and going and going and going and going. Just like D. D hasn't taken his video down. You know, he still has his up there. Patty Mayo took the video down. Maybe he felt like, man, I, I overreacted. It was the heat of the moment. I was a little hurt, upset. And I just flipped out now i am surprised that these two have not squashed the beef yet it's been so long now it's like man you guys were boys i thought for sure they would have squashed it by now maybe they're talking personally about it maybe they're reaching out to each other a little bit and they just haven't haven't told the public yet or made any new footage we don't know i know that they are making new footage and stuff like that and for those of you that are saying that Bounty Hunter D is doing fake videos, he is going up to couples and paying them money to look through their apps. If you think that is fake, then I'm going to respect your opinion. I believe everyone's entitled to an opinion, so I will respect it. But I do believe that is hardcore real. I mean, like I said, the episode we just saw, I am very questionable at, about it in some other episodes. But... Most of the time, I do think Bounty Hunter D is very, very real. I think the show is real. Patty Mayo has flat out said his show is fake. We're going to see that right now. Okay. So let me get it up on here. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And just a quick re reminder, guys, if you would like to donate uh in the gofundme for the kids at the children's hospital the gofundme account below you know it little goes a long way and every donation counts so so let's look up patty yo Uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to get, what's it called? Now, this was actually in the intro video, so like, you definitely saw this, and it was you may have a voiceover in, in the Oregon last video that I did, so is, let's get it the to show? the right part, Remember and you guys says, will be able to see. Purposes. But and not just here. Some of the vest okay. and badge. Won't people think they're real law enforcement? Someone will say, oh, hey, thanks for your service. And we say, oh, no, 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 we're here for production. We're not sheriff's officers. The intent is to create a production. It's not to commit a crime. And so that's why before we even purchased the cars for the show or any equipment, we sat down with the police department and we said, this is what we'd like to do. What do you think? To try and avoid any confusion, people on the production team wear these bright yellow vests that say film crew. And if anyone happens to be walking by during a shoot, there is a dedicated member of the crew to go tell that person exactly what's going on. Sergeant Bailey said Mayo wants to have a good relationship with the Central Oregon Law Enforcement to avoid any problems. He's been very good about calling in to dispatch and communicating with law enforcement on the date and time that he is going to be making a video and letting us know where and when he is, he's doing these videos so that we don't have a situation where we have a real cop showing up at a fake law enforcement scenario, just so there's no misunderstandings, because we don't want anyone to get hurt. The Deschutes County Sheriff's Office did say someone in Redmond has expressed their concerns about Mayo's tapings, but Sergeant Bailey said Mayo has an All right, so that's where we're at, guys. What are you thinking? I mean, everyone's going to have their own opinion. I'm not trying to change anyone's mind about this video. I'm just telling you what I see and what I'm thinking. Now, the beef itself. So, like I said, the video from Bounty Hunter D side has not come down. He has not taken it down. Patty Mayo did take his down very fast after he made it. I think the video was on there for only like two days. So it wasn't like he was making a huge big deal out of it. He took it down. I think he felt like maybe he overreacted. 
but it is very clear. Bounty Hunter D is not afraid to do Petty Mayo's show. So I don't know why he left. Like I said, I have reached out to Bounty Hunter D and to Jami on Instagram and stuff to see if they'll let me do an interview. Apparently, like I said, there's no response yet, but you got to remember this guy has millions of subscribers and supporters. He probably gets that stuff all the time, but I'm hoping he does reach back and say, hey, yeah, let's do it. And hopefully he comes out and follows my wife. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Give her a lie detector test. So, all right, guys, so that is going to be it about tonight's video. Let me know what you really think. Do you think Bounty Hunter D is fake or do you think his show is real? I am going to stand by it and I am going to say that the show is real. That's what I'm going to say because I am a hardcore fan of Bounty Hunter D. I love him to death. I love Jami. I even love Ed, uh, what, Ivan. I live in love Ivan as well. So that's going to be it tonight. We will be doing another video within the next few days about this. So definitely check it out. And I love you guys so much for your support. Big hugs, little kisses, my babies. So kings and queens, stay safe. COVID is still out there. A lot of creepos out there. Stay safe. Okay, guys. And I can't wait. We will actually be having our first guest on the show in well, like I think in a week, in a week, I'm not going to say who it is just yet. So when it happens, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys tune in for it. And thank you guys so much, so, so much for subscribing and supporting the channel for all your support. You can also check us out on Spotify, TikTok. Now, definitely check out the TikTok one because that's more for like comedy videos that we do well i do uh it's mostly me and my one year old but i like to do comedy videos on the tiktok one check us out on instagram uh spotify apple you know we we got it all over my babies we're trying to do something here so without you we wouldn't be doing it i love you guys to death thank you for the support once again if you can go to the gofundme account and support the channel and every donation counts for the children at the children's hospital to get them some more toys all right you guys you guys have a good night stay safe and i love you let's cut it